Hello Leo, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Your song for this reading is Stuck, uh, no, Stuck in a Maze, Maze by Juice World. Um, if you'd like to listen to the song and listen to the lyrics and see what you can get from it, go ahead. But keep in mind, it might have inappropriate language in it. I think it, I think it does. It's not like extreme, but I think it definitely has inappropriate language. So just keep that in mind if you're sensitive to that. Um, but I, some, I wrote down some of the lyrics. So the main premise of the song is someone who is stuck in a maze. Um, someone who feels like they don't have, um, it's like someone who's not following their inner guidance. They might feel as though they go to a lot of dead ends. Um, or they just can, can't can see the way out of a situation. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Um, another lyric was, my life's a death race, so, um, and I chase thrills. So this person could be living on the edge in some form or fashion. Um, there's a whole like scale where they could fall like it could be as extreme um, as like an extreme like race car driver <laughs> or someone that like goes to like really extreme heights and like risks their life that way or it's like someone who um, doesn't like eat right and or I don't know like they have high blood pressure I don't know like it's someone who or uses a lot of vices in some form or fashion it's like um, it can be on whatever scale it's just someone who kind of uses um it could be the vice could be like adrenaline or it could be a drug or it could be um a million things there's a million ways to shopaholic you know it's someone who has like a vice to cope um and it's someone who's resisting some sort of healing or a healing process because when someone's using um things to cope it's it's like they are trying to um, not feel what they would feel otherwise and the reason that it, you're feeling it or anyone's feeling it is because it's coming up to be healed and you know um, transmuted so it it's like someone who's resisting a healing process or um, not receive not receiving clarity on something like they could be stuck in a maze but it's like of their own um, doing and again this could be you or someone that you're dealing with um, but yeah, let's let's see what the cards let's see what the cards say. Please show me the focus for Leo. The focus for Leo. Okay throat chakra okay um speaking up about something um wanting someone to speak up about something sticking up for yourself in some way um or talking about it in general maybe it's something that someone um doesn't talk about please show me um the situation for leo i don't know what that was situation for leo belief okay so um where it's number 11 it's making me feel like it could be um believing in yourself um it could be you know bigger than that it could be your belief in um what you believe you know life is or you know what you what your belief in things are um the situation could call for um believing in something uh, but this could also be you know, believing in yourself, believing, um, believing you're capable of something. That's what I'm feeling. Please show me, um, the purpose or cause for this for Leo. The purpose or cause for Leo. Okay. All right, so um, the purpose being delights. See, the purpose could be um, delight in Divine Feminine, um, or it could be the purpose is delight and the um, cause is Divine Feminine. 
again where this is 11 you know connecting um with your divine feminine um that that aspect of yourself but you know delight kind of speaks for itself what does it say the frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness the more delight we feel the more delight we evoke in others okay so um this could be speaking of someone's vibration um being you know more positive or um you know having a higher vibration more often there's something that someone is holding back speaking up about um with this throat chakra card here some throat chakra healing um or attention could be needed but um you know take that however if you're lacking um the ability to speak up about something it could it could mean you know um maybe put some focus on your on your throat chakra and um do some work on it all right let's see please show me more about this um okay <laughs> i didn't even ask anything so we have rebellion um yeah so speaking up and kind of um maybe moving out of your comfort zone a little bit by speaking up or um like just coming yeah coming out of your comfort zone um letting walls down to speak up yeah like i feel like this is like a rebellion against yourself um and maybe the ego and kind of like not listening to the ego when it um is trying to hold you back from like sticking up for yourself or um speaking about something because then you're holding it in you know okay please show me um what is needing to be spoken up about okay um <laughs> this cauldron this cauldron comes out so many times um it's so strange so speaking up getting creative with this um like you know surprising yourself surprising yourself with with um how you're able to stick up for yourself or you could be surprising some people with with how you um speak up or stick up for yourself or um you know just speak about something in general express something expressing your emotions expressing your feelings expressing your thoughts you know in general expressing expressing something <laughs> please show me um more about this belief for the situation devotion okay so um you could be changing your um belief system you could be um changing your um ideas on religion or you could be changing your religion you could be um maybe maybe you're practicing a whole new set of beliefs maybe maybe your values have changed recently or um what you believe you deserve um could have changed recently how much you believe you deserve could have changed recently um or this could be the situation that's coming up calling you to to do so but this situation, a situation could be doing this for you. Please show me, um, please show me, um, more about this situation here. Please show me more about this situation here for Leo. Bravery, yeah, okay. So, yeah, really, um, sticking up for yourself um being brave there's some there's some call to be brave um in doing this and maybe changing these beliefs or um sticking up for yourself and devoting to yourself and um you know maybe there are some people that won't be happy about that or will try to um challenge you in something Ch oh my gosh why did i do that that's interesting that's interesting that i did that i forgot to get some for the cause and purpose um but yeah you know people might not be so happy about um your your um changes that you're making here but they seem like positive changes it just seems like you know you might be challenged on these beliefs okay please show me um cause and purpose 
please show me um, more about this delight and divine feminine. Okay, so we have love and the braid here. So um, the braid talks about um, complacency. It talks about um, allowing um, allowing people um, maybe to do more um, than you should allow them to do, or not really praising bad behavior, but it's like by allowing it you are praising it by allowing people to treat you a certain way or say certain things to you or um you know do whatever by allowing other people to do whatever towards you you are um kind of and sticking around and sticking around you are kind of um affirming to them um and praising them for their bad behavior yeah it's like you're you are um telling them okay i will stay even though um this happened even though um you did this or um whatever and this is a love situation and again this could be someone that you're dealing with um this could be about divine feminine um or this this reading could be for divine feminine however however it fits for you but um there's some sort of complacency with divine feminine um, and it feels, it doesn't feel like a love situation. There's the love card here. But it, do, it does feel like a love situation. But it really is, um, it could be anything because we have beliefs on everything. So, it, you know, it, how, again, <laughs> however it fits. <laughs> It's raining right now, which I love when it rains when I do readings. So hopefully um, we can get some really nice clearing energy. Clarity maybe. That would be lovely. Okay. Please show me more about... Um, what what does what does Leo need to speak up about? What does Leo need to speak up about, or is um, wanting to speak up about, or wanting someone to speak up about? What is needing to be spoken up about in Leo's situation here? Okay, yeah. So it's a someone. Yeah, someone's in a false false prison. Someone. Um, it, this is the um, Eight of Swords. Someone is um, feels like I can't see the way out. I can't see which way to go. Um, I'm in a maze. I don't know which way to go um, or what to say or what to think or what to believe. But it's it's really just about taking the blindfold off if you're in this deck or in this like it's like with this card it's like the butterfly isn't quite ready to come out yet. So it hasn't come out yet. Um, but when it does it'll see that there there was a plan the whole time for the butterfly to come out and be free and, you know, fly above. Um, the, the butterfly doesn't have to fall down. Um, when it comes out of the cocoon, it's going to have wings. It didn't have wings prior to that. It was a, it was a caterpillar. So it doesn't know that, you know, when it comes out of the cocoon, it's going to be, be able to fly away. I mean, maybe it does. But for this card, that's, that's what I'm feeling for this. It's like someone doesn't know that um, their, their fall will be caught. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Like, someone doesn't know that um, there is a way out and that, you know, someone is freaking themselves out here or blocking a healing process or not speaking about, up about something or um, keeping themselves stuck somewhere in some sort of stagnancy for, um, like, they're causing themselves negative emotion and stress for um, no reason. But, you know, there's, there's reasons for everything. You know, everything's a process. Everything's a learning experience, so yeah, that's enough on that. Someone's um, not really stuck, but you know everything in divine timing. You know you can't force the butterfly to come out. Okay, let's see. Um, what's going to be surprising here? Daughter of Cups. Okay, so yes, maybe um, emotions expressed will be um, surprising or maybe th this this situation where someone is stuck someone is unaware of it so maybe um, it'll kind of be emotional to um, understand maybe where someone was or this is um, 
if this is if this is you that's stuck, it's like you are going to be surprised with the amount of emotion that kind of comes just flows out um, naturally is what I'm feeling like it's you, maybe when you start speaking speaking about it, it's kind of kind of just like take on a, a mind of its own and just keep going like you know um, getting all emotional like maybe someone like breaks down like honestly like maybe someone breaks down and it surprises the, themselves and it surprises others. Um, yeah, please show me, um, what is this, um, what are these new, what, okay, yeah, what are these new beliefs that Leo is taking on or someone that Leo is dealing with? Okay, so it could be beliefs about love and how much love someone deserves and what love should feel like and be like. Um, someone could be changing their beliefs on, um, a partner, um, and it could be calling for someone to be brave. The Two of Cups speaks of some sort of reconciliation. So um, this could speak of someone's belief in the ability to reconcile. Um, but this is, um, it's, it's a really, it's a, it's a beautiful card. It's just, you know, speaking of love, really. So this could be love for yourself, love for another, forgiving yourself for something. Um, forgiving others, forgiving everyone, um, seeing the bigger picture in everything. So you, you know, forgive a whole situation, forgiving yourself for, um, if, you know, if this is you that's stuck, forgiving yourself for, um, maybe the, whatever had happened in that, in the time of being stuck or forgiving another, you know, it's just like forgiveness in general. Um, please show me more about these beliefs that are changing. What are these new beliefs? that Leo or someone that Leo is connecting with is adopting or changing or expanding with. What is, oh my goodness. You have the two of wands. Okay, so um, someone's ability to um, move forward. Someone's belief, okay, so especially with the bravery, it's like um, someone's belief in how far they can go. Um, this could be speaking of matters of love, but also in, in a relationship, but also um, career and um, passions. It's um, how far you believe something can go, um, passions why something that you're passionate about or someone is passionate about. Okay, um, please show me um, about this complacency for Leo situation. Three of Wands. Okay, so um, someone was waiting. Someone was waiting on something. Someone's waiting for their happiness. Someone's waiting on something for their happiness. Um, it could be um, a love situation, like a partner. Um, someone's in a waiting period, and it's 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 kept them um, stagnant um, because they're just waiting. They're waiting um, to move forward and they were being complacent in doing so, in um, waiting. Maybe someone was trying to get you to wait for them. Um, it, 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 yeah, it could, it could be um, a situation like that, but it's some sort of waiting. Whether you were asked to or not, it's like um, someone was being complacent by waiting. Please show me um, Please show me, um, hmm. Please show me more about, um, the complacency and divine feminine. Oop. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles, the six of cups, the father of swords, and temperance. Okay, yeah, th this is, I think, speaking more on, um, Waiting to make a decision about someone from the past, waiting to make a decision or waiting, again, waiting to move forward, juggling opinions. You might have been going back and forth on this about someone from the past. Um, past love situation, it doesn't have to be love. Um, it could be family, it could be um, friends. Um, it feels like a personal relationship more so than um, like a coworker, like boss situation or something like like professional business relationship it feels more so personal but hey it could it could still fit um in a business type of relationship and then we have the father of swords which is um air and temperance here which temperance is sagittarius right 
Um, Father of Swords here, um, someone who is very analytical, someone who um, leads more with their um, head rather than their heart, and temperance, um, the balance of a situation. Yeah, so I'm feeling like someone was kind of um, on, like, kind of not taking a steady stance on something, something from the past, keeping them in a waiting period, um, keeping them from moving forward in some form or fashion. Um, it could be keeping someone from speaking up about something. It could be keeping someone from speaking up about something, especially with the Father of Swords here. Um, temperance, I believe, is speaking on um, the balance of give and take in um, a connection or some sort of um, relationship or, yeah, connection or relationship, something like that. Um, okay. Let's get outcomes. Outcomes. Okay, please show me the outcome for this speaking up. Please show me the outcome for speaking up. Okay, someone ends up hurt. Um, someone ends up hurt. Please show me more about um, this outcome. That is so interesting. The Justice card um, ended up upside down, but all my decks are right up. Um, so someone could feel like this situation is not fair. Um, someone could feel like it's not fair um, what someone is speaking up about. Someone feels like there is a lack of justice in the situation um, and it someone is hurt by it. Maybe someone lashes out a little bit. Maybe someone lashes out and um, with this outpouring of emotion that's surprising, um, it's like a rebellion, you might be shocking someone. Um, they could feel really heartbroken and they could feel like there's an imbalance or something's unfair here. Um, yeah, someone could, someone could feel kind of attacked. Someone could feel um, criticized. Um, yeah, someone could just feel like the situation just isn't fair in some form or fashion. Um, please show me the outcome for... Um, these changed beliefs, you know, having this bravery to um, devote yourself to um, healing. This could, okay, devoting yourself to healing. Okay, so you could be devoting yourself to healing and, um, you know, reconciling with the people in your life. I think this was the hermit that came out. Where was it? Here it is. Okay, so we have the hermit and we have the knight of wands. Okay, so we have really deep inner reflection and healing, and we have moving forward passionately. Um, someone could kind of go into a space and kind of um, go into it kind of impulsively. Someone might make an impulsive decision towards some sort of passionate uh, endeavor. Please show me um, the outcome for this Knight of Wands, this in impulsive, um, quick, okay. King of Wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. This, okay, so this could be you, um, Leo. This could be um, you going forward with a passion, um, a project impulsively, and now you are in a very passionate, um, assertive leadership role um, position thing. Like you are in your, um, uh, you you are highlighting your, your masculine um, side, your divine masculine side. Um, yeah. And with with passion ready to in, in, in the, what's so awesome is like this is like realizing you can move forward realizing you have potential realizing there's more to your dreams more to a connection more to something realizing you can move forward um after ha having this like waiting period for so long and now the knight of wands is like charging forward with the wand um and then claiming the throne with the wand you know and this again could be you or someone that you're dealing with all right um and please show me the outcome for um, this um, this wanting to change this complacency complacency um, for the sake of um, someone's vibration, someone's how they feel on a daily basis, um, where they are, you know, timeline wise, you know, like what what you know, wanting to get to a happier place, fill, filled with delight. Please show me the outcome for this wanting to get to um, a happier place. That's also what the Two of Pentacles here is speaking about, is like, I'm feeling like someone was is sick of not having this temperance. Someone is sick of not having 
Okay, so an argument could come out. An argument could come out. What is, um, what should Leo focus on during this argument here? During this conflict? Okay, being fair, being balanced, um, but, you know, not letting someone take advantage here. Not letting someone just kind of run the show and kind of, um, you know, lash out and not letting someone take it, um, like, like being fair, being, you know, calm and collected and cool, but not letting someone take advantage of you. Um, not letting someone, um, walk all over you or, you know, just fight with you and you just allow it and whatever, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, maybe we should get, we should get, do I have time yet? I should get an advice card. What is your advice for Leo? Please show me advice for Leo. Okay. Missing one. So we have the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, Intuitive Hits, Soul Tribe. Yeah, so you're going to see a greater purpose in all of this. The clarity will come in um, once someone is out of this maze. And it's all in due timing, too. It's, you know, if this had been the other version of the Eight of Swords, I would have said, you know, take the blindfold off. You know, you're not stuck. But this this um, butterfly, it's divine timing. You can't force the butterfly out. So um, with divine timing, you know, the throat chakra will clear um, and the maze will um, become obvious to you. You will see where you went, why you went there, you know, like what was the purpose of going down that avenue? You know, you will see the greater purpose. Um, intuitive hits, you you could get these this information intuitively um, or it just clarity comes in in situations um, kind of happen and then you know a little bit of time goes on and then then you realize oh my gosh there was there's the purpose and then get grounded empaths highly sensitives connect with nature okay so maybe some meditations some grounding um working with you know crystals or um taking you know a spiritual bath or you know shower um you know doing just doing some energy work you know going out in the rain um you know doing doing things that make you happy you know getting yourself grounded really so yeah, thank you so much for joining me, Leo. Um, I wish you the best of luck in this situation, um, and I'll see you here in the next video. Bye!